Hey guys, today we have our very last screenshot reveal for the new Twilight pack coming to Planet Zoo in just a couple days now. It releases on October 18th. And the final reveal, as you can see, is the Striped Skunk. Now, I was really excited to see this one and I hate, I hate to say it, but I, I don't really like this screenshot that much. So I think the skunk looks great. I think as far as its facial features and the overall design of the body, the fur looks good, but there's something about the pose that the skunk is in in this picture with his, it would be his right foot, the left foot that you're looking at, the front one, the way it's kind of turned inward. And I know he looks like he's kind of turning to his left and gonna walk off the right hand side of the screen but i i don't know something it just i don't feel like this was the best way you could have represented the skunk and and maybe i'm wrong maybe this is you know the skunk and this is how it's going to look in game and everything but i just feel like it, i had such a cute picture in my mind and this it didn't really do it justice for me. So I'm hoping that once I get into the game and I can kind of see the animal move around, see it in different poses, I will like it a lot more. Like I said, the facial features and the details on the feet and everything look fantastic. I think it's just the way the animal is posed in this picture. Not to mention, and a couple other people noticed this as well because I noticed a couple posts on Twitter, but the dude looks like he just lit a forest on fire and is walking away casually like no big deal you know you just set an entire biome on fire um because i know it's a sunset in the background but the mist and the fog and stuff with the lighting to me it looks a little bit like smoke a little am i terrible for thinking this like that was the first thing my mind went to uh was that that was kind of what it looks like so so yeah, I don't, I feel so bad. I don't mean to, uh, you know, talk badly about this skunk. We haven't even seen it in game yet, but I just hope I like it a little bit more moving around in the game, actually seeing it as, you know, a moving model rather than just a still screenshot. Cause right now it's not my favorite right now. I would say just based on the screenshots, this guy would be fifth. He would be five out of five with the red fox and the Egyptian fruit bat really being one and two, then moving on to probably the raccoon and then the wombat and then and then this guy, this guy, five out of five. So as always, please do tell me what you think. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? It's totally okay to disagree. Just let me know. Let's talk about it. Let's see what your thoughts are because I'm really curious to see if I am uh, the only one that has these thoughts. Uh, skunks are great animals and I'm very excited again to have them in the game because they represent another one of those small habitat animals that's going to be kind of off the side sides of your paths on the way to bigger animals. They're an animal that can kind of fill in those nooks and crannies of your zoo. And they actually do very well in smaller and very simple habitats. Really, these guys are gonna be ground dwelling animals, so they're not gonna need a whole lot of height in their habitat. Um, just stuff to burrow under, hide under, hide from guests if they want to, things to explore and forage around, cause that's how these guys are gonna spend most of their time during the day. Skunks are one of the species that I have actually worked with before, so I'm fairly familiar with what their care requirements are in captivity. Um, and again, an easy animal. They're a fun animal too. They're a stinky animal, as I'm sure everybody that is familiar with skunks knows. Uh, the That brings me to my other thought uh, or want, I guess, is that I so hope that these guys like their fighting animation involves some sort of spraying or if they just have a spraying animation like i would love to see that i don't think we have anything similar with any of the other animals as far as like quite a detailed animation like that and you know maybe we don't need to see like full-on actual spray in the animation but just 
just the, you know, the start. Like they will, they will stomp and pull their feet back at you when they're angry, which is a very, very cute animation. They'll also kind of turn and turn their butt towards you just as like the threat of they're going to spray. So I kind of want to see a couple of those in the in-game model to make them feel more skunk-like, more realistic skunk-like. So that's what I'm really really hoping for because really their mannerisms a lot like the raccoons are are very entertaining for people to watch at least they were entertaining for me to watch so i'm really hoping we get a lot of those animations that really make them feel like the real life animal other than that in this screenshot i really don't see anything else that's new we see that twisted tree in the background just to the right we see some pine trees just to the left of that we see some forested trees off to the very left of the screen, but to be honest, in this screenshot is one of the ones that we see the least in terms of background stuff. Uh, the wombat being pretty close, we didn't really see too much in the background of that one. Um, but yeah, I don't really see anything, anything too new or noteworthy to talk about in this background. We only have a couple more days left, so I hope you enjoyed this short and sweet, simple little video, quickly taking a look at the skunk. Hopefully it wasn't too negative. I try very hard to be very positive on the channel and just with content in general, but I didn't want to lie. I didn't want to uh, come on here and be really excited about the skunk and say how awesome it looks um, if I don't really feel that way. So again, let me know what you think down below. If you made it this far, if you're enjoying the video and you're excited for the Twilight Pack, go ahead and leave a like and a comment. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content. And you can follow me on all my social media accounts. All the links are down in that description box below. Box below, excuse me as I trip over my words. And until next time, I will talk at you guys in the next video. Bye.